former, well, one former SEC quarterback got the win there, that being a Matt Stafford coming out of Georgia. So I uh, happy to see Matt Stafford after 12 seasons being shoved away there in Detroit, finally get that Super Bowl. <laughs> Don't think uh, many people would be surprised to see the current Alabama quarterback one day hoisting a Super Bowl trophy. Uh, he certainly did that with the Heisman Trophy last season. Bryce Young, 47 touchdowns, seven interceptions. He's widely considered the best in the business. A few people may vote for C.J. Stroud, but he's certainly at the very top of the list. Uh, people excited in the Alabama camp concerning five-star freshman uh, in the 2022 class, Ty Simpson. Run down the quarterback situation for us, Stephen. Maybe starting with the thought, how can Bryce Young possibly be better in 2022? Well, I think I think a couple of things. I mean, number one, for him, it's going to be uh, learning the, the growth, the maturation, trusting himself as a runner. He did come in as the number one dual threat quarterback in the country in 2020. And a lot of times when you have quarterbacks that really gifted athletically, at times, it's like, I want to show how gifted I am running the football, but at the same time, I want to prove that I'm an accurate passer. I have a lot of skills in the passing game. I can distribute the ball all over the field and make all the throws necessary on the field. So it's kind of that push or, and pull of, yes, I know I can run, and I want to show I can run, but at the same time, I want to also show I can throw the football effectively. So you know, for Bryce, it's being able to trust himself to run when he's given those opportunities and growing in that area because the more he can do athletically, the more it makes Alabama's offense that much more dangerous and explosive under Bill O'Brien. So that's number one. And number, then number two for Bryce is just that uh, being able to understand if something's not there, it's okay to throw the ball away. And that's something that he and Tua Tagovailoa kind of share because with Tua – he would hold on to the ball. He would wait. He would wait. He would wait, trying to see if a receiver would come open. And when you wait that long, your offensive line may not be able to block that long. And that was the reason why we saw the 39 sacks that, that Bryce Young took. And he took some pretty uh, wicked hits a season ago. So being able to throw the ball away when you don't see nothing there initially, uh, being able to protect yourself, your body, and play the next play. So those are two of the biggest things for Bryce is, number one, uh, being able to trust himself as a runner, as a dual-threat quarterback. And then number two, when something's not there, you no, know, don't be afraid to chunk the ball out of bounds and protect yourself because you know you have an NFL future coming for you.